the baby in JoJo Siwa got into a little thing, right? And not even necessarily JoJo Siwa and the baby. The fans on behalf of JoJo Siwa to the baby. So if you didn't know, the baby dropped his beatbox freestyle. You know, the beatbox is a little where the guy's doing this. Um, rocking in my Reebok, that song. He's the freestyle to it. And in it, he said, you niggas, p- bitches, I see y'all, right? And then the line next one go, y'all really bitches, JoJo Siwa? Are you a bitch? No. It goes, I receive you niggas, bitches. I see y'all, right? See y'all. Then he goes in to say, you a bitch, Jojo Siwa. So for some reason, people took that like literally. Like he was literally calling Jojo Siwa a bitch. Now, if you look at it surface levelly, you don't try to look through the lyrics and break down the double entendres. If you don't try to do none of that, surface level, it could look like, oh, the baby just randomly, for no reason, called Jojo Siwa a bitch, right? For no reason why. For no reason that we know. Maybe she is. You know, she's 17. I'm not trying to say a 17-year-old's a bitch, but maybe, you know, they had an encounter. She was a little bit, you know, bitchy. I don't know. But that wasn't the point. He didn't really call her a bitch. He kind of broke it down a little bit, right? So he had a tweet, and he said, I love Twitter. Y'all crazy. And he said, I see why you guys do this. So he was trying to explain, like, See why is supposed to be see y'all, but it's just a play off the last bar that he wrote. And then, you know, Jojo, his name is Jonathan. So he's calling himself Jojo. Jojo, see y'all, right? I see why y'all, bitch. But went over a lot of people's heads. So the baby, obviously, you know, the only reason the baby, I feel like, even responded to this was because of the misrepresentation of the lyrics. Could be seen as distasteful. Two big time sponsors. If you watch his interview with Million Dollars Worth of Game, he explained why he doesn't show guns in videos because the bag comes from the sponsors. He wants the Pepsi. He wants the Mountain Dew. He wants the Eminem, the Skittle. The he wants the big sponsors to give him money. JoJo Siwa is a big mainstream entity. Regardless, if you don't know who she is, you don't watch her content, she has a demographic that these people want, and that's the kids, right? She controls the kids. The baby don't want to mess up that money because they'll be like, oh my, because think about it. The, the executives of these places, Disney, Pepsi, whatever, they're not going to look into the lyrics either. They're going to be just like these YouTubers, like, like, um, James Charles. And, you know, like a flamboyant voice. That's how they talk, right? I'm doing a flamboyant voice because that's how the guys. The, Nikita Dragon is transgender. How, that's how they talk, right? But anyways, like even with that, like JoJo Siwa's ten times richer. Do we know she's ten times richer? Maybe she is. Maybe she's not. But the baby got money. I, I, my, the confusing thing to me, and I'm gonna get back to the sponsor point. But the confusing thing to me was how everybody was acting like the baby was some like scrub ass rapper. Like he was, like he was like a little pump or something. Like I was like. Huh? Like all these YouTubers, James, like they have this big fan base, right? Girls, the gays, the kids, like they have these fan bases, but like a real life audience after, like you want, like the, the kids is cool, right? You get the kids, you get the money right there, but you want that demo that 18 to like 25 to 50, like that's where you get that longevity, right? Because the kids aren't always going to be kids and you are not always going to be young. You don't want to be the creepy 35-year-old makeup guru trying to target the kids. You want to be able to get in that 18 to whatever demo. I'm sure JoJo Siwa hates her fucking life. You think JoJo Siwa likes acting like a little kid when she's 17 years old? We knew we were 17 at one point. We know 17-year-old girls. Do you think there's any 17-year-old girl that wanted to act and be like JoJo Siwa? No, it's for the bread, it's for the money, right? She's eventually got to grow up. She's eventually got to get her Miley Cyrus on. Maybe the coming out as gay is like trying, is that that's her her. I'm not saying it's a ploy. I'm not saying it's fake. I'm saying that's her way of trying to, you know, get out of the kid thing. Maybe like, I'm growing up. I'm an adult. I'm doing these things. I'm whatever. That's how I look at it. But we're not going to like the baby is some superstar rapper. Like, he's just some scrub ass nigga. Like, his song was a seven weeks number one Billboard charting song last year. Two, I think he had two albums last year. Two number one. Like, we're not going to act like the baby some scrub just because he said something to JoJo Seawall. Like, let's not even get that misconstrued now. But the kids, maybe, yeah, little kids running around. Oh, yeah, JoJo Seawall. But, like, adults, the baby. But anyways, 
back to my point, the only reason that the baby even responded to this was because of the sponsors. He don't want to lose them sponsorship dollars because the executives at Microsoft, not, I don't even know how I said Microsoft, Disney, uh, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, all these things that you want to get the money from, they're going to look at the internet and say, oh my God, he called Jojo Siwa bitch. He has to be canceled. They're not going to do the research. They don't know what double entendres are. They don't know what none of that stuff is. So in an instance, the baby is canceled and he loses out on all that money. So he had to say this, at is Jojo Siwa. My three-year-old princess is your number one fan. I bought her every product you have out. She thinks she you. Laugh emoji. Don't let them trick you into thinking I'd ever have a problem with you. My wordplay just went over their heads. All of them, my shawty, keep shining. He had to do it. He needed the sponsorship dollars is sky high. You know, he'd be like, Drake, will you please not smoke a lot? You know, that's a, that's a Drake reference. But the baby, I would assume the sponsorship dollars are sky high. So he doesn't want to lose the sponsorship dollars in regards to getting into a beef with Jojo Siwa, who is probably the sponsorship doll for children. So it makes sense. But it's just, we live in a society where everything has to be like literal, cancelable. We hate you. You're evil. You're Who wants to live in that society and culture? Even like, because it's getting so much far past politics. Like at first it was like politics is you're on the side, you're canceled. You're on the side, you're, you're evil. You're whatever. like, we're even past politics. It's just like even, regular things like rappers can't even say they tried to get meek out of here the other week because meek said um they catch me lacking i'm gonna pull out with my chopper it's gonna be another kobe now maybe people feel like it's too soon but let's not act like rappers haven't been saying crazy shit forever lil wayne said he beating up see up like emmett till and we know what happened to emmett till he was the spark that drove the civil rights like like we know what happened there and Lil Wayne was comparing it to beating up Pussy. Pussy. You know, and after further analysis, because a lot of these guys on Twitter, and when I say guys, anybody on Twitter, I'm not just saying like guys, like men, they do a good job breaking shit down, right? Like that JoJo Siwa shit, I'm not going to get on here and act like I knew that that's what he was saying. But the way some people break shit down, I'm like, oh, that does make a lot of sense. But I never thought he just... Blatantly went out and said Jojo Siwa was a bitch. But with regards to Meek Mill, everybody was saying, he's saying if he's got lacking, of, obviously the double on challenge, Kobe did die in a chopper. You know, it's his chopper is the chopper. It's going to be another Kobe. I think he's just saying, like, it's going to be another legend gone too soon. But, you know, people are too sensitive to those bars nowadays. Kenny Smith, even like, he gave Meek Mill a pass. Even though I don't know why he needs a pass from Kenny Smith from TNT. But, you know, he got the pass. It's like I said, Meek Mill. Is not the guy right now. And I'm not saying he's not popular. Because I see a lot of people, oh, Meek Mill's not popular. Meek Mill's washed. He's trash. Relax. Slow down. When he drops his album, it's going to be another great album championship. Y'all said the same thing. He was washed. He was trash. He was riding off the back of Prisoner for him. Riding off the back of Drake. If you actually listen to Championship, it's a great album. I've been championing championships for the longest time. So when Meek drops another album, it's going to be another great album. Even if it has features. He's he not even like had features on the album anymore. People said, I, I think it was Academic, said, he better not have no features. Why can't he have a feature? Why not? It's collaborative. People make music. They have features. That's not like some of these guys who do have big records who are newer. If there wasn't a certain feature on that record, it wouldn't be as big. Finesse Out the Gangway is a good song by Lil Durk. But let's not act like if Lil Baby wasn't on that motherfucker doing what he do, it would be as big as it is. And I'm not, it's not even a huge hit right now. But if Lil Baby wasn't on there, it wouldn't be as big as it is. So, Let's not try to discredit people from doing collaborations and features. And their only, their only claim to fame is they're only good if they can do a track by themselves and that makes them good. And I don't believe in that. And I just don't think it's justifiable.